Juan, I just wanted to ask you first about the crisis in Puerto Rico, where most of the island remains without power for another day after being hit by Hurricane Fiona. In fact, the electricity went out before Fiona hit. Uh, you were born in Puerto Rico, you know, to say the least, you are closely tied. You still have family in Puerto Rico. What are you hearing? Well, Amy, I'm, I'm hearing pretty much what the uh, news accounts have said. I've also been in contact with my sister, who's in Calle, in Puerto Rico. Clearly, the electricity is out once again, and water, uh, a potable water to most of the, the uh, island residents is out once again. Uh, and uh, unfortunately, the reality is that the Puerto Rican people, since Hurricane Maria, have actually been, uh, uh, been able to recognize the fact that the government, when it comes to these crises, is in that many people have been able to develop uh, their own ability to survive. Increasingly, more and more Puerto Rican households are, uh, when they can afford it, uh, have generators of their own to have uh, emergency supplies. And as I was speaking with my sister uh, yesterday and today, they, they've also been able to sometimes have their own uh, water reserves. And my sister has a 600-gallon water tank, uh, basically, for emergencies like this. Uh, so, uh, unfortunately, the, the billions of dollars the United States spent to reconstruct uh, the infrastructure of Puerto Rico after Hurricane Maria uh, w is not as resilient, uh, and it's not as the money is not as well spent. And so we've, we're once again faced with the fact that it, who knows how long it will take for electricity and uh, potable water to be accessible again to the people of Puerto Rico. And here we are six years into the Financial Control Board that was only supposed to be in power for five years. It's already one year over its original uh, uh, time uh, allotment by Congress. Uh, and we're still in a situation where Puerto Rico, as a result of its colonial condition, is not ready to deal with crises of this type. Well, I want to thank you, Juan, and, of course, we'll continue to cover what's happening in Puerto Rico. Now the storm is hitting Turks and Caicos, uh, went through the Dominican Republic. Um, we will cover that, Alaska, Japan, the typhoons there, and this whole issue of the climate catastrophe. Um, this week is and Climate Week here in New York City, and we'll be bringing guests throughout the week talking about this critical issue of our day. Coming up, we're going to look at President Biden's announcement that the COVID pandemic is over. We'll speak with Stephen Thrasher, the author of The Viral Underclass, The Human Toll When Inequality and Disease Collide. More than 400 Americans a day are still dying of COVID. Stay with us.